Holy shit balls. Look at this stuff coming down. Well, it was crazy snow out earlier, but now the snow has stopped. Still not that nice out today. It's pretty darn freaking cold. And I have no clue why the furnace stopped and all of a sudden kicked back in when all I did was adjust the temperature to 12 degrees. Well, we're almost ready. We're going to start tearing this down right away. I would have been outside in the garage a little bit earlier, so we're not going to spend that much outside today because I was on the phone with an accountant. It's tax season. I've got to get my taxes sorted out and it's not going to be pretty this fucking year. I'm probably going to end up paying... Hopefully under 10000 in taxes. I'm not too sure, but it's going to be pretty expensive. So let's get started on this project to keep my mind off of how much I'm going to have to pay the government, which I don't really agree on, which is a bunch of bullshit. My goal is to get the head off today, so we got to make some room that we can work on it. So my valve timing on the exhaust side is... Still pretty good. Even the intake is good, so we can't rule out that the valves are improperly timed for the cylinder leakage. You can never have too many cameras filming. Maybe I'll use a pry bar. I got one here somewhere. Maybe I don't have a front bar here. Holy fuck, air compressor always has to ruin the shot. Shut the fuck up already. There's no time to screw around here. Got that loose. Let's see if we can get this camshaft out now. There we go, it's already busted free. Give a shit. So this is an automatic adjuster here. You need a flat blade screwdriver and you turn it in, you can see. But when you turn it in, it takes the tension off the chain. Now this is where it gets interesting. I'm turning in the screws so I can loosen it off. Plus, try to feed it out at the same time. No time to screw around. I think the procedures to move the camshaft are chain tensioner, I should say. I actually removed the chain from here, and now we gotta do something with this chain so we don't lose it. I was just about to lose my mind and frickin' snap. Cause this is the workspace I'm working with. It's really small, yet a flashlight about that big that had a cord on it vanished and I'm hunting high and low and the motherfucker stuck to the bottom of the magnetic tray. Cause the reason why I wanted it, cause we are shining it down below. So what I did is I zip tied. I zip tied the chain so does happen to fall down below hopefully it's not going to get lost holy there's not enough power in this gun take much to crack these suckers. Maybe you just need to have retard strength. There's a washer on the bolt and you want to be very careful that you get it and it doesn't fall down below. 
because otherwise you're going to be a sad panda. Look at these bolts, man. These head bolts are the most silliest thing I've ever seen. It's never a dull moment around here, that's for sure. Now that we got the head off, let's have a closer look at it. But yeah, that head's looking like ass. Same with that cylinder. So I got the head off right here, and I don't think I'm gonna be using this head. Look at the layers of carbon on those valves. Like that is That's just disgusting. That's like super caked on there. And then, if you look in the exhaust port right there, it looks like it's been pissing oil out there. That's what it looks like to me. I think that's what the issue was, why it was burning so much oil. I'm gonna take this apart later. We're not gonna use this head. We're gonna use the other one from the other engine. Same with the cylinder. I just rotated the piston down. It was at top dead center. Now, oh, we lost our light. Let me just turn it back on. There we go. There's a, uh, I mean the cylinder wall looks all right, but it doesn't look like there's any chrome finish left on it. Like you look at this one from the other engine that we're gonna use, it's still got the cross hatching. Everything else this one here. We're not going to use this one either. So Basically what's going to happen? We're going to rebuild the head on the other one Rehone this cylinder from the old engine um, Most likely gonna have to use the old camshaft. I mean, there's no bearings in the head itself It's just machined aluminum, but it's probably best that you have like the proper maiden services Even though you can buy cams and just swap them out. So I'm just gonna go that route. We're gonna have to have a look at them and um, See what camshaft is gonna be better. Once we start doing this, get her back together. It'll go by pretty quick then. Well, I think it's almost motherfucking beer time, but before I have a beer, and call it a day for today. I think I'm gonna grab the old steel blower there, clean off all the snow. Care of its motherfucking beer time. I was gonna say we have a bottle of piss here, but that would be Pap's Blue Ribbon. This is from Fedor. He gave me this. Pretty scared. Those Russians drink strange brews. All right, Fedor from Kazakhstan. Let's see what this beer is like. In case you guys don't remember, Fedor is the guy with the Tupperware electrical container. I'm scared. Fucking crazy Russians. It actually tastes like shit. Oh, I gotta drink this, but I would never personally go out and buy this. It isn't even expired yet. <sighs> Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, and piss. Yeah, that sounds about right, carbonated piss. All right, well, I can end the video here. The next set of videos, I don't know what's going to happen. I got a lot of shit on the go. I'll just leave it at that. I'll talk to you guys later. Motherfucking beer time. Piss in a bottle and then sell it.